Well, good morning. We are uh, getting it done. <laughs> moving some of these, uh, moving some of these joints around for a customer of mine. They're a mess. They're usually pretty wrecked up, but most of them will run and drive. We're uh, probably about a half an hour away from him. We just stopped, pulled off the interstate and to pull back on just to check the straps and whatnot. So this week has been uh, kind of flipped upside down. I don't know if I mentioned in the last video, I probably did. Um, we had a death in the family and uh, come to find out the, the service is gonna be on, on Thursday. So I kind of had to uh, just cancel cancel my long trip, which we'll have to do early next week. I really don't have a choice. It's not something I, I can miss. So, you know, family always really comes first. But anyways, enough with that. Um, but like I said, about 30 minutes away from delivering this. And uh, I, um, I did something I wasn't... Uh, I didn't think I was ever going to do. I, I put my my Duramax, my Chevy, the one that started my company, really up for sale. Uh, the way it sits, blown up. And uh, I think Friday it's going to be going to its new home. Uh, obviously it wasn't costing me any money just sitting there and whatnot. But... Uh, I don't foresee me ever putting it back together just because of how busy I am and uh, with it being what it is uh, I don't think I would utilize it so it's completely completely rust free I have a buyer for it he's gonna buy he's gonna buy the whole thing uh, and use it for parts he wants to bed off of it because it's completely rust free and the doors because um, he wants to convert his truck it must be the truck he's built must be uh, Jesus Honda the truck he's built must have like uh, um, crank windows in it that's what I was trying to say must have crank windows in it and uh, he wants to convert to power so I think he's going to use the doors off of my truck because they're because they're rust free but um, He's about two hours away. We agreed on a price, either him picking up or me delivering, and he wants me to deliver it, so I guess I'm gonna do that on Friday. But um, the straps are checked. Let's get this last half hour done. And uh, it just kind of messes us up a little bit because we have, um, we have my trailer full of truck beds, and I don't have enough room for these vans, but just have to make two trips up here. It is what it is. I gotta get the work done. Gotta put money in my pocket when I can, and uh, and just keep moving forward. Man, I want a tilt trailer, but I don't need one for this job. That'll work perfectly without ramps. Sure this one starts uh, I think I'm gonna go chalk the wheels on the truck though just to be safe well it's a little dark and creepy back here but today is the day Chevrolet goes bye-bye got a guy coming to pick it up but I'm gonna put it on my trailer to get it out of here my father-in-law's business so get it out of here put it on my small trailer I've got my new 12,000 pound winch on there put it on here take it back to my house and meet a guy that's coming to get it tonight well it looks like it's midnight but it's only 7 30 and uh, it's time to take some videos and some pictures for memories and send her on down the line I can't believe I'm parting ways with her. But it is what it is. We had a good run. So I'm waiting on the uh the buyer to get here. I'm gonna scrape the 
DOT number and phone number and everything off the uh, off the windows real quick and a little overloaded on this trailer but that's just the way I had to load it and pull it out of the where it was parked I'm probably just gonna roll it off here and um, then they can back up to it and worry about loading it hopefully they're equipped to load it they obviously know what what they're getting into it was a little bit of a I wouldn't say weird it was just she was a lady had been contacting me about it like all day I guess it's for her son's truck I don't know if her son doesn't have Facebook or or whatever but they're using it for parts they're using it to fix a truck so this truck needs cleaned out bad but I'm gonna get I got some Windex I'm gonna scrape this scrape this information off and just wait for them I was gonna unload it but I don't wanna in case something god forbid something to happen I don't really feel like loading it back up so I'll just wait for them wait for some money and then I will uh I'll unload it from there say bye for the last time oh there she goes off to another family all right well good morning it's another day it's been a week um, kind of just cleaning up scraps right now now new direct customers um, product behind me let me go show you and I'll uh, I'll do some explaining help oh, we've got a truck cab uh, we set this on the back of my small trailer just like that had the forks come in from behind set it down I've got a strap through it. I've got a strap on the front. They're working against each other. And this thing has not moved at all. Little preview there, what it is, and I'll explain really what this is uh what this is all about on this guy's shipments. So this gentleman who ships these parts is local to me. Uh, they specialize in Ford Super Duty parts. There is a handful of guys in my area that all do the same thing, and it's all with Ford parts. Um, he reached out to me, I don't know, two or so weeks ago. Most of my stuff for him is brokered stuff um, because it's not stuff that I can personally get done. Because it's like a single truck bed in the Massachusetts, one to Florida. He does a lot of uh, insurance stuff. So if an insurance company has a wreck, they can't find, you know, a bed, he sells them to insurance companies. And then they fix them from there or pay them to match whatever truck it is. So um, this week for him, I've had a bed come up from San Antonio, Texas, go to a body shop in Virginia, and then I, I decided I was going to take care of this real quick, um, just because I don't want to send somebody I don't know or don't trust to pick up something like this, end up messing something up, mess up a new customer, so I figured I'd just do it myself. Well, they've got some big boy tow trucks here. I'm waiting on this guy in this big roll back to lead me to where we're gonna unload this thing and I'm really glad I brought my small trailer because it'd be more than a pain in the butt with anything bigger than what I got behind me. Had to just flop a U-turn in this lot behind this tow truck back here. It's actually straight behind him there's a little turnaround back there and uh, they were gonna unload me here they were just gonna actually use one of their big wreckers but uh, they're not working it on it here, so yeah, <clears throat> he asked if I'd rather just take it over to the other spot and get unloaded with a forklift, or they can get a wrecker out. And I said, well, if it's in you know a timely manner, but I don't care where we unload it. The other place is just right down the street, so this I'm gonna follow this guy over. He just had to run inside real quick, and we should get unloaded pretty quick. Well, now that I've driven all over the entire state of New Jersey, it seems like, that's the truck that this cab is for. 
get all the way over here and they're like, well, how are we going to unload this thing? I don't know. You're a heavy wrecker operation. Figure it out. They just set it on with a forklift. All I did was come in underneath the cab like that, lift it right up. All the weight is right here. This rear structure, really. So there's really nothing, nothing going on that side. Nice rainy day, but we can finally get this thing to where it needs to go. If I can get these snaps off. Kind of cool little project with this car. But I, I gotta get it on the small trailer. If I can get in this thing and get it fired up. And the last thing this thing is, is enjoyable to get in and out of. So let's see if we can't get this thing pulled up here in the rain. Should be all right. Well, well, well. What is going on here? So, I don't know how loud it's gonna be. I'm gonna try to try to keep you informed. I'm on the side of 200 right now in Maryland. I lost a tire from this accident back here. They want me to hold up and wait here. I'm not really sure exactly what's going on. One of the trucks is going to come assist me when they get another signboard up there. I don't have a jack with me. I forgot my jack, which is not too uncommon for me on a short trip. Um, but there's a hit and run. It looked like the person was on foot though. There's a shoe stuck under a trailer tire on this semi back here. And there is about 15 cop cars and people over here looking in the woods. So they're looking for somebody. I don't know what happened or what. I don't know if that person that was, if he was on foot, if there was multiple people and a car took off. Or they, there was a bunch of stuff in the road and I heard it come out of my tire, hit my tire, and then it just pulled straight to the left. That tire went instantly flat. So they told me they wanted me to stay here um, till they figured this out. Um, they, they had a couple other cars that were involved in, I guess, hitting debris too, move, move out of that lane over there and get off the road up here. But I can't, I can't move this truck without, without it being, the tire is not going to be salvageable, but I'm not going to, I think it'll probably come off the rim and then I'm, then I'm really screwed. So I'm just going to sit here and one of the Maryland traffic guys is going to come up here once they get another signboard truck and I guess give me a, give me a hand and I, I don't know if give me a report number or what, because I don't know what's going to turn out of this I mean for me I don't have any other damage I don't know if any of these other cars have damage so for me it's like um, for me it's like uh, you know all I need is a tire it's not something I'm going to turn into my insurance unless there's more damage from, from something I don't know what but they want me to hold tight here so that's what I'm gonna do, and um, I don't know. I don't know what they're, if they're looking for, if somebody bailed on foot or what, cause I don't know if he lost a shoe while he was bailing, that's why that shoe's, cause the tractor trailer's still half in the lane, like he just stopped wherever, whatever happened. So I don't know if his truck can't move, cause I can't see the passenger side of his truck, so I don't know. I don't know what happened, but I will try to keep you guys updated. 
as I know what's going on because this is uh, this is definitely not fun. I'm supposed to be waiting to deliver this car to this guy. I already let them know that it's probably not going to happen now. So I'm just going to sit here and wait. Oh, and it's Friday, and this is 200, and traffic is going to get thick. So not really the ideal place I want to be, but I can I can get myself off of the road pretty quick once I'm allowed to. And it's completely my fault for not having a jack. In my defense, my floor jack I just scrapped because it started leaking down too much. And I had added oil and everything to it. The cop just flew by us. I guess they might have found the guy they were looking for. But it was leaking down too much, even full of oil and everything. It's an old Harbor Freight jack. It's been sitting outside and stuff for a while. So, uh... I put it in my scrap pile and I usually have a floor jack in the bed of my truck at all times. If I don't have a floor jack, I have a bottle jack, but I use the bottle jack when unloading the uh, that old like bread van. Remember that fiasco? I took the floor or I put the bottle jack in the trailer because I was I had to use it to jack up the bread truck when we were trying to unload it because it um, one of the four wheelers got under, wedged underneath of it from the tires leaking down so just just bad luck is really all it is should have been more prepared but it is what it is I'm just gonna traffic's really slowing down I don't know if they're turning people off the road or what traffic is really slowing down so I'm hoping one of the guys can get up here and help me and then I don't know what's going on with this tractor trailer guy. I don't know what he's going to have to do. Guess we'll figure out. I'm going to ask what happened when this guy comes up here. See if he can get up here and help me. Well, it's been two hours. They just now let the semi go. And I'm just waiting on one of these guys to come up here now. I'm going to try and get the full story. Uh, I've just been sitting here playing on my phone because I can't go anywhere and uh, just waiting on one of the Maryland guys and an officer to come up here. But there has been like a handful of different cops that have come in and then one guy came in and unmarked and talked to the driver. I don't know if he was like higher up or like a sergeant or something, but he was here for like 15-20 minutes and as soon as he left then the, the semi just pulled out. I'm gonna try and get the scoop and see what happened here. Welp, that's one way to make it home. We did it. So, I figured out what happened and I'm not gonna uh, talk about it too much. Well, uh, what had happened was there had been a young lady who tried to in traffic and in the process of that, multiple cars had hit each other, causing a bunch of debris on the road. But when I got up to it, those cars were already gone. They had got them off the road, but the debris was still there. <clears throat> I had run over something, and then there was another guy who had run over something. Both had flat tires, and um, they were just kind of collecting all the information and trying to get an assessment of damages and stuff. Um, but she had been hit, but still ran, um, and, and she had taken off and that's why they were looking for her. So she was on foot, at, she was in a car and then on foot at some point. So, um, sad situation, but, um, I made it back home. The customer knows that I was unable to deliver the vehicle cause it would have been closed and we'll, we'll figure out a time to get it, get it delivered.